you're sitting on the internet all day. Why not go ahead and fill out our survey? Man, you still here? Go on and subscribe. Man, you still here? Go ahead and fill out our survey. You're sitting on the internet all day. Why not go ahead and fill out our survey? Man, you still here? Go on and subscribe. Man, you still here? Go ahead and fill out our survey. Action One, inspiring action. You're tuned in to the all-new Action One Network. Turn up your volume. Hey world, hey! You're traveling with TVMA the T. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Black Friday edition. We have Thanksgiving coming up, so I wanted to share some travel tea and some travel news with you before we celebrate with our family and friends. It's time to get the show rocking. First things first, can't start a show without giving honor to God. Thank you, um, family and friends for all of your support. I would like to also thank my suppliers and my sponsors. Of course, Action One Media. Thank you, Carnival Cruise Line, BDM, Lori Mason, you're the greatest. As you can see, she came through. Last week, she um, provided me some merchandise to give away on the show. So we, I really appreciate you, Lori. Thank you so much. Hunter Smith with Sandals, thank you. 
and Big Rivers Water Park, Natural Bridge Caverns, Norwegian Cruise Lines. I appreciate you. Let's get the show rocking. Who am I? I am traveling with TVMA the T, your your local Houston blogger for the Commodore. I am actually a contributor for the Commodore Travel Magazine. I am your local Houston franchise owner of Cruise Planners, and I am your local Houston newest travel podcaster. On today's show, this is what you can expect to see today. Today I'll be talking to you about travel deals, travel news, and also giving you a little bit more travel tea um, that can help you in your travels. I hope you guys enjoy the show. And if you love what you see here, and if you are an adventurous traveler, I'm always looking for sponsors. And I'm always interested in interviewing adventurers. So the community can learn more about your unique travel destinations. If you are one of those and you are interested in connecting with me, please send me an email at travelingmadeaffordable at gmail.com. Social handles. You can find me on social media, Facebook, Traveling Made Affordable. You can also find me on Instagram, Traveling Made Affordable, TVMA, the T. The blog, tvmathet.wordpress.com. As well, if you're looking for an awesome vacation and need an awesome travel agent to help plan it for you, if you're looking, I'm booking. Travelingmadeaffordable.com. I am your land and cruise expert. Stay tuned to the end of the show for your Facebook shout out handles toward the end. All right. So I wanted to give a special um, shout out to Big Rivers Water Park. If you tuned in with me for my last show, my last show, um, actually, was it the last show or the show before that? It was actually episode two. One. Oh, episode. Okay. Thank you. Episode one, guys. Big Rivers Water Park actually came through and really just did the thing for us. Um, I actually wrote the article on the Commodore. So again, like I said, I am a contributor for the travel magazine, the Commodore, and you can find it at um, CommodoreMagazine.com. And you can find the Big Rivers Water Park right up about that. I actually attended the grand opening of that um, the first weekend in November. Yep, you're right. It was the first weekend. And they also sent me with um, free tickets to give away for my first show. Thank you, Big Rivers Water Park. I appreciate you. They are north of Houston, guys. They're the newest theme park that we have in our area. And you know how we feel about Astroworld being closing or what have you. This summer, it is going to be on and popping. So um, I did give away tickets to that. So check out Big Rivers Water Park. They have a lot of activities you can do. They have a crocodile form. You can even hold a baby alligator. Yes, and you can zip line as well. Make sure you check out BigRiversWaterPark.com. Natural Bridge Caverns. Natural Bridge Caverns will be hosting a Christmas experience on a whole new level. At Natural Bridge Caverns, we celebrate Christmas unlike anywhere else in the world. Nestled in the scenic Texas Hill Country, we kick our holiday festivities up a notch. Hear your favorite carols echo through the Texas largest underground caverns. Mm. Get pictures with Santa, Splunker Claws, then round up his reindeer in our outdoor maze. Then as the sun sets, take a hayride through the hills and roast s'mores with your family while enjoying games, music, and food around our 30-foot tall Christmas tree. It will be available during select weekends in December. If you want more information on that and you are going to be in the San Antonio area, please check out www.naturalbridgecaverns.com and stay tuned from Stay tuned for some travel tea regarding Natural Bridge Caverns. Moving right along. Travel Tea News Alert. Travel Tea News Alert. If you have heard about Spirit Airlines, you know how much I am 
broadcasting spirit a lot because I actually fly them a lot. I fly a lot of airlines a lot, but I've mostly been flying spirit because I cracked the travel hack deal and I'm going to live by that deal. And so it's been awesome. So anywho, let's, let's get to the T. Let's get to the T. If you happen to fly Spirit Airlines or you're thinking about giving them a try, I know Spirit has been on some people's minds as not being the greatest, but guys, they are coming around and they've actually been doing um, a lot better. I had an interesting conversation with Spirit Airlines marketing uh, director on Friday. That was yesterday. And also earlier in this week. Shout out to Eric and the entire marketing team with Spirit Airlines. Spirit, he did share the tea with me that Spirit has added um, some additional routes to um, their, their, their hubs, their airport hubs. And so what this essentially means is that, that you'll be able to fly Spirit non-stop. Okay, so check that out. There are many non-stop new routes available and if you live in New Orleans, hey, your city was highlighted as getting some of those stops that are non-stop. So shout out to Nola, Le Bon Temps Rolle, honey. Guess what? Spirit has added three non-stop non cities besides New Orleans. They have Denver, Austin, Philadelphia, and they've actually added a lot more. Eric was telling me that there's about 11 total in all. If you want more information on your cities and to see who um, has the nonstop flights, you can definitely check them out. And some international cities are also listed as well, like San Juan, Puerto Rico. So you can actually get to um, San Juan nonstop with Flirit, uh, nonstop through Spirit, Jamaica, Colombia, South America, and many, many more destinations. I can assure you, do not sleep on Spirit. I'm going to tell you why. Because Spirit has the travel hacks. You've been hearing it from episode one, episode two. I'm always saying this. You can crack a Spirit Airline fare for much of nothing if you do it just right. Remember, they have the tea. They have that travel tea. That means those travel deals. And if you're looking to get your air flight a little cheaper, then guess what? You need to make your way to the counter at Spirit Airlines on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays and get you some tickets at much cheaper fares than what's what you see online i'm telling you i'm a travel agent and i can't even beat their travel deals so check it out www.spirit.com and i do look forward in having spirit on the show in 2019 thank you spirit travel news before our commercial break Actually, I may have to save this tea, but I'll give you a little snippet. I'll get you started. So, senior contributor Zach Friedman reports the best and worst times to travel in 10 major cities. You know I'm nosy. I just wanted to see if Houston made the top 10, you know, because I don't know about you, but traffic all is already horrible in Houston. So, it's not surprising the busiest travel days during Thanksgiving week are Wednesday evening and Sunday afternoon, per Zach. And when we get back from break, I'm going to share with you some sampling of the best and worst times to travel in these 10 major cities, these 10 major uh, metropolitan areas. After the break, don't go anywhere. Facebook Live, everybody check us out on WeAreA1.com. Make sure that you go on Google Play and get the app. You know what I'm saying? The app is out now. Um, you know what I'm saying? Apple coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Tell them quit making them jump through the books, but we coming back. You know what I'm saying?
Action One. Independent thinkers working together, inspiring action in media. Get in the action. For all media companies, for podcasts and indie stations, for artists, for young professionals, for science and technology, for all media companies. Join today. Get in the action at weareaone.com. Welcome to the Carnival 30 Minute Tour. Hey Shaq, it's a 30 second tour. No oh, man, it's like... And now it's 26. Welcome aboard! Ocean! Skyride! Mini golf. Relax, relax, relax! You take this man to be your husband? I do. Married. No time for basketball. Pool! Carnival, choose fun. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey world, hey world, hey. So as I instructed before the break, um, I was reading a, a great um, read up on Forbes.com and this is um, by senior contributor Zach Freeman. Zach Freeman reports the best and worst times to travel in 10 metropolitan cities. And like I said before the break, I wanted to know if Houston was on that list because y'all I'm nosy I'm not gonna even lie you know I felt like you know traffic is already bad Monday through Sunday so I would not be shocked if we were on the list and that's why I actually read it to see so I'm gonna start naming to you the top 10 cities um, that made the list for the worst times to travel in um, the United States I wonder who number one is do you know who number one could be? I wanted to say Houston, but guys, we're wrong. And especially after we saw what happened in the media um, in New York City during that six, six inch snowstorm, guess what? New York City made number one. So the best and worst times to travel in New York City is going to be before Thanksgiving. The best time is Wednesdays at 4 a.m. Honey, who getting up at 4 a.m. on Thanksgiving Day to lead a house? to hit the road but they said that's the best time to travel and apparently if you don't get out before 4 a.m you're gonna be in some gridlock traffic guys if you haven't been in new york ooh, the worst time is wednesdays at 3 p.m 3 p.m is the worst times to travel and after thanksgiving the best time to bring your behinds home is friday at 4 a.m the worst time is sunday at 3 p.m so here's the here's the deal after thanksgiving and you need to come home you know black friday is pretty much starting around 4 a.m but they're saying that's the best time to head home if you live in new york or you're visiting new york number two number two on a hot spot that made the list of the worst cities to be in during thanksgiving is los angeles los angeles before thanksgiving the best time to travel is wednesday at 3 a.m the worst time to travel is Wednesday at 4 p.m. before Thanksgiving. So that's Thanksgiving Eve. Now, after Thanksgiving is over with, the best time to travel again is also going to be Friday at 4 a.m. While the worst time is Sunday at 4 p.m. That's not too bad. 4 p.m. Manageable. Third city making the top spot is Los Angeles. Before Thanksgiving, the best time to head out is Wednesday at 3 a.m. The worst time is Thanksgiving Eve at 4 p.m. After Thanksgiving, the best time to leave and head back to your, um, your origin is going to be Friday at 4 a.m. Friday at 4 a.m. Somebody's in the Facebook group like, New York? No. Yes, New York. Um, so Friday at 4 p.m. is going to be the best at 4 a.m. I'm sorry is the best time to go ahead and head on home The worst time is waiting until Sunday But you know you want to get that last bit in with your family and friends so Sunday at 4 p.m. Not going to be a good look for you Okay Fourth city taking the top spot is San Francisco 
Before Thanksgiving, the best time to head out is Thanksgiving Eve at 3 a.m. The worst time to head out is Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve at 4 p.m. We all know why. Now, after Thanksgiving, the best time to head home is Friday at 4 a.m., while the worst time would be Sunday at 4 p.m. And it looks like a lot of these cities hate that Sunday at 4 p.m. time slot to make a decision to head home. So here's the deal. This is what it tells me. It tells me that a lot of people more than likely have their flights booked up around this time or going to be hitting the highway around this time. And so you can expect major congestion um, in the airports and on the highways. Now the top um, five city that made the hot spot for the worst places to travel in during Thanksgiving is Chicago. Um, but the best time to go to Chicago is Thanksgiving Eve at 3 a.m. The worst time is Wednesday at 3 p.m. I don't know how many people have actually been to Chicago O'Hare's airport. Ay Dios mios, that airport is so huge. And if you have a connecting flight, and you're trying to get from one part of the airport to the other part it is not like houston airports guys everything is not in that one location so yes i can agree with them that i wouldn't want to be caught dead to the in car. chicago trying to get somewhere during the worst time to travel yeah they 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 made that top five spot honestly now after thanksgiving the time to head home is going to be friday at 4 a.m the worst time is Sunday at 3 p.m. So, guys, if you need to be out of your destination before a Friday, the best thing to do is order your Black Friday deals online. Order them online. If you order them online, then you're going to be okay because, hey, you don't have to go stand in a line, and you'll be out of your travel destination before the worst time to travel. So, it's a two-for-one-er. The top six spot is Boston. The best time to head out of Boston would be Thanksgiving Eve at 3 a.m. The worst time is Wednesday at 3 p.m. And the best time to return home is Friday again at 4 a.m. While the worst time is Sunday at 3 p.m. Mm, mm, mm. Now I know everybody, know somebody that's going here. The top seven city that made the hotspot is Atlanta, A-Town. The best time to travel to Atlanta would be no later than Wednesday at 3 a.m. The worst time is also Wednesday at 3 p.m. Now, the best time to return home from Atlanta would be Friday at 4 a.m., while the worst time is Sunday at 4 p.m. That seems like it's a lot of crunch time for a lot of metropolitan cities. So you guys going to have to, I hope you have your travel itineraries together, but I met a lady today um, in the store I was at, and she was saying that she's getting ready to leave Thanksgiving Eve, and she's one of these people that actually needs to be listening to the show right now. She told me she was going to listen. If you are, hey, hey, girl, hey. Um, and so I hope you guys know that this, hey, this is the T, Forbes.com. Forbes.com is delivering the best and worst times to travel from 10 major metropolitan cities. The city that made the top eight spot, and this is a lot of people's favorite, it's a southern city, it's a party city, and this one is going to be, it's not who you thinking, it's Miami, Florida, guys. Miami, MIA, the best time to travel before Thanksgiving would be Wednesday at 4 p.m. While the worst time is, well, actually Wednesday at 3 a.m., I'm sorry. And the worst time is Wednesday at 4 p.m. So the same thing, you want to kind of get your travel plans taken care of before Thanksgiving afternoon. Now, if you're ready to head home, the best time to head home is Friday at 4 a.m. Again, you're going to miss the Black Friday specials if you're trying to stand in line. However, you better order online because the worst times to leave are Sunday at 3 p.m. And hot spot number nine, number nine, number nine, the worst place to travel during Thanksgiving and the worst times. Um, the city um, that has the major congestion during this time. Who made the nine hot spot? Well, this is a Texas city, guys. Texas finally made it. And so it goes to Dallas. 
the best time to leave for Thanksgiving in Dallas is going to be Wednesday at 4 a.m. While the worst time to leave is going to be Wednesday at 3 p.m. Now, after you celebrated with your family, you're, you're full, you had a great time. I know you kind of want to enjoy the weekend, but Forbes.com is saying the best time to leave is going to actually be Friday at 4 a.m. While the worst time, again, is going to be Sunday at 3 p.m. And number 10, number 10, number 10, the city that made the 10 hotspot of the worst place to travel to and the best and worst times to leave for Thanksgiving are, drum roll, your city, my city, our city, Houston, Texas. Yes, this should be every day though. Like, they need to come out here and drive like Monday through Sunday because traffic is horrible. But Thanksgiving, they're predicting that it's going to be even worse. So the best time to head out if you live in Houston and you're thinking about traveling is going to be Wednesday at 3 a.m. The worst time is going to be Wednesday at 3 p.m. I will hope no one is waiting that late to hit our highways because, honey, you won't get far at 3 p.m. Now, after Thanksgiving, the best time to head on back to town is going to be Friday at 4 a.m., while the worst time is Sunday at 3 p.m. So pretty much all of these top 10 cities has something to offer. They have a um, conjoining um, connection where their travel is going to be congested at roughly around the same time, and especially if you're thinking about flying. So keep that in mind. If you want to check out this article, you can check out um, www.forbes.com for more information. And finally, CNBC. I read this good travel tea on CNBC. This article was written by Megan Lionheart, and she reports that Black Friday and Cyber Mondays are the best days for planning your vacation, as you can save up to 55%. Megan states, why buy a flat screen when you can purchase a family vacation for up to 55% off? And you know what, Megan? I agree. You can always get that flat screen, honey. For more information on her article, you can check out CNBC.com. Now to my own travel tea. I don't know if I shared this yet. Did I share this yet? I don't know if I shared it, but I'm going to share it right now. So about one... 21 30 this afternoon a lot of you guys know i write for the uh, common or travel magazine and since i write for the common or travel magazine i've already published two articles with them i did the article write up for um big rivers water park and for natural bridge caverns so big rivers water park is in new caney natural bridge caverns is in san antonio well my good friends down in san antonio um the vice president actually hit me up in the email today and he said hey Tanya I'm gonna be sending you some tickets to Natural Bridge Water I mean um, to Natural Bridge Caverns and I was like yay so guess what guys I will be giving away tickets soon I'm not gonna do it this show we're gonna save it for after Thanksgiving because I want to um, talk to you guys about Black Friday I want to hear your stories did you get any travel deals because guess what I'm gonna be sharing some travel deals with you and I'm gonna have a trivia question on my next show and I just may even have a special guest Hey, make sure you're following me on Instagram, TVMA the T, and on Facebook, Traveling Made Affordable. That's my travel tea. We have enough time? Okay. So, one last thing before we take a commercial break. This show, remember I said I'm going to share some Black Friday deals with you? That is coming up, guys. Do not go anywhere. Pull up a chair. Get comfortable. Get your popcorn. Get your cappuccino. Well, don't get the cappuccino because y'all know Houston weather is bipolar. Because like two days ago, it was like 30 degrees. And right now, it's like 72 degrees. So I don't know if I should have came in here with a turtleneck, a scarf, and some shorts on. Because that's just how the weather is. But anyways, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. After these messages with your travel deals stay tuned guys
Action One, inspiring next. You tuned in to the. Only, only, ooh, ooh, ooh. You got me speechless from your Call 1 800 Sandals. Baby, you don't have to say nothing. Action One, inspiring next. You tuned in to the all new Action One Network. Turn up your volume. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Traveling with TVMA the T, and I'm here, and I am that girl with the travel deals. So, check this out. So, I was looking last night, I um, got a few emails from our franchise cruise planners, and you know, they keep us abreast of the changes that's coming to the travel world. Any last minute specials that our suppliers may notify us about. And earlier this week, if you follow me on my social media, you know. Carnival posted a last minute 24 hour special and that special was you can get a you can book your cruise if you were wanting to travel for the fall or the winter you could do it with a $75 deposit plus you received on board credit that doesn't really happen with Carnival and so they let us know it was only good for November 15th shout out to those of you that took advantage of that I saw you I saw my emails going crazy I appreciate you and guess what you're gonna have a great time I got some carnival merchandise coming your way and I'm also autograph it for you too all right so travel deals as I was looking I was trying to find some great deals that you guys have been asking me about within the past couple of months and so what I found was travel deals to and I'm just sharing a few with you guys travel deals to Italy Sicily Paula Palo Romo area if you decide to take a villa instead of standard or all-inclusive resort I got some travel tea for you honey you can get here during January 5th 2019 through April 26 2019 and the rate is going to be 763 per night okay 763 per night in this villa it sleeps it has four bedrooms it sleeps eight and it has four bathrooms I'm actually going to be posting pictures in um, Facebook so you guys can actually take a look at this because it's awesome and you cannot beat this rate 
Somebody may be asking me, well, what if I want to travel during the summer? Well, if you want to travel during the summer, we have April 27th through May 31st. The rate is $1,073 per night, and this does not include flights, guys, so keep that in mind. If you're looking to travel June 1st through September 27th of next year, um, the rate is going to be $1,192 a night. September is around the same. It's about $1,000 a night. But if you're looking to travel in the fall and stay in this villa, the rates start to go back down. So October 26, 2019 through January 3rd, 2020, the rates are $9.53 per night. And if you're interested in this deal, put this on your bucket list. You need to email me, latanya.white at cruiseplanners.com. And you need to let me know you want to get this price up for Black Friday because Chances are this is going to be going down a little bit cheaper. We just don't know yet. We have to watch. Barbados. Barbados, Barbados, Barbados. Barbados crossed up on my list because the rates were phenomenal. When I tell you phenomenal rates, the rates were phenomenal. And I'm actually going to post the um, Italy um, trip here in the group if so you guys can actually see that. So you guys could take advantage of that. But the rates to Barbados were phenomenal, guys. I was so impressed with the rates here for this villa. And right now, I'm only quoting villas, guys. I'm not even quoting all-inclusive resorts. I'll get to that in just a moment. I need you to know that when you're going on vacation, you can stay at a villa. You don't have to stay at an all-inclusive. I mean, it'll be nice, but you do have options. And yes... I am your land and cruise expert. I don't just book cruises. I book everything. So stop reporting me and saying that I'm only a cruise planner and I'm not. I book everything. You know who you are. All right, Barbados. Check this out. If you're interested in going to Barbados, I'm going to shock your world right now. Like, no lie. If Barbados is on your list, you can get Barbados anywhere from $380 a night to $1,100 a night. It's all about the timing. This is a two-bedroom villa. It sleeps four. It has two bathrooms. And it's located in Whole Town, Barbados. It does come with, some, with beachfront property, waterfront property, a pool, and air conditioning. So if Barbados is on your repertoire and your bucket list, you definitely need to be emailing latanya.white at cruiseplanners.com so we can get you squared away, honey. All right, so that's it about um, villas. Let's share some all-inclusive tea. This is some travel tea for all-inclusive resorts in Los Cabos. Um, people are still, yes, people are still traveling to Mexico and they're living their best life. So don't let the media fool you. It is going down in Mexico. I'm going to tell you how much is going down in Mexico. If you planned a summer trip to Los Cabos at this fine, um, I think it, last night I looked, it was like 4.5 stars. You would be able to check in. This is for two on June 15th and check out on June 22nd. The total for the two of you to travel would be $2,866.84. Guess how much your deposit would be though? This is for two people. $200, yes, and you wouldn't have to make your final payment until May. So guys, if you're looking, we're booking. You need to get linked up today so you can enjoy your best life. Here's your Black Friday travel tea. We're going to have a lot of beach, um, beachfront properties that are going to be having Black Friday specials. I've been posting it in my travel group, which is Traveling Made Affordable on Facebook. And right now, they're offering up to 55% off hotels. Excellent. You're getting resort deals on Cancun, Riviera Maya, Punta Concha, Jamaica. Jamaica me crazy. You may even want to put this on your watch list because chances are that I feel like there may be some type of special. Okay. Now moving on to cruise deals. And in three minutes, we're going to do a Facebook shout out. So if you were listening in the group, I'm going to be shouting out your Facebook handle live on air. Okay. So stay tuned. But let's move on to these cruise specials. Now, we have a lot of cruises out there. A lot of people love to cruise. They live to cruise. And so MSC Cruises 
is offering a Black Friday special. The Black Friday special is you will receive a $100 shipboard credit, unlimited free drinks. You will receive a $100 shipboard credit per stateroom when booking a balcony stateroom or above on select sellings aboard MSC Seaside, MSC Davinia, MSC Meravigilia, MSC Armonia, and the Caribbean. Remember, this only applies to certain ships with MSC. Get with your travel professional or even me, Latanya.White at cruiseplanners.com if you're looking, we're booking. And I'll definitely let you know um, which ship qualifies for that Black Friday special. Royal Caribbean, yay, Royal Caribbean is actually here in Galveston. So if you are a Royal Caribbean fan or if you want to know more about Royal Caribbean, you want to get on a cruise with them for your first time, it doesn't matter. This show is for experienced travelers and new travelers alike because we want to engage you all. Um, check out Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean right now, if you book between November 1st through December the 4th, all sellings departing on or after December 1st, 2018, you can buy one and get the second person 60% off. You will also get 30% savings on your third passenger and your fourth passenger if you're, a, if you're traveling with a family of four. So just keep that in mind. They got you covered. Now keep this in mind too. Kids sell free if they are 12 and under on a four night or longer Alaska, Bahamas, Bermuda, Canada, Caribbean, coastal, Cuba, Europe, and Hawaii sellings. So remember, a child 12 and under can sell free on certain certain sellings. Get with your travel professional or even contact me, travelandmadeaffordable.com. You can actually see on travelandmadeaffordable.com which cruises qualify for this. And if you are not too familiar with maneuvering through the website, hey, chat with me. Click that chat button. Click that Facebook button. Whatever you have to do, click the email button and just contact me. I got you. Make sure your booking window is November 1st through December the 4th. Selling window is December 1st, 2018 through December 14th, 2019. So, hey, this is going to carry you from now all the way through, well, actually, December the 1st all the way through December 14th of next year. Cool. All right, shout out to Norwegian. Norwegian, shout out to the um, business development manager out there, Chris Posada. Chris Posada is going to be sending me some things in the mail as well. So I will be unboxing on air when I get it. Thank you, Chris. All right. So with Norwegian, you can double up. Right now, there's a double up offer going on. Booking window is June 11th through November the 30th of this month. This offer allows two guests to apply two cruise next deposits toward one stateroom when they book a balcony stateroom or higher at least six months prior to selling. That's not all. I'm not even done with Norwegian. I need to clear my throat. <clears> throat> Norwegian Cruise Line is also offering air, free air or reduced air. Yes, a lot of people don't take cruises because they are like, I don't want to spend so much money on flying to get to the port to travel. Some people may want to go to New York and sail out of New York or go to Florida, or go wherever they want to go, but the flight, the airfare may be too pricey for them. Well, guess what? Norwegian Airlines has you covered. As long as you're booking between October 3rd through November 19th, you qualify for free or reduced airfare from select hub ports from your airport. So you would have to get with your travel professional to check the gateway to see if your airport is going to qualify for free or reduced airfare with your cruise booking. And this, this is only good for the cabin categories of inside, ocean view, balcony, mini suites, concierge, suite, and havens. And guys, that haven is a beast. It's nice. All right. And also, finally, they're offering another discount. As long as you book between October 3rd through November 19, 2018, you get up to $500 discount off of your stateroom for those above mentioned categories as well. So shout out to Norwegian guys. They're doing it. 
been on the getaway and it was awesome it was great all right and finally our local another local hometown cruise carnival carnival is offering a sale right now booking window november 13th through november 25th get great rates and free room upgrades on select sellings through february 2019 now, also booking window November 15th through November 20th, you can qualify for discounted uh, deposit rates if available. And yeah, you can qualify to get, get your deposit cheap, like $75 per person. Now, if you were lucky enough to be paying attention to my Facebook travel group when Carnival sent out the email on the 15th that they attached some onboard credit to that $75 deposit per person, you not only got your $75 per person, but you also got your onboard credit. That has since expired. So right now, I think the $75 deposit per person is still going on for select sellings. Get with your travel professional for last minute deals and to check your selling dates. Okay, we definitely can help you out. And it's getting close to that time. I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. Shout out to um, Pamela Wright. Shout out to, C, uh, to Clyde. Shout out to Caesar Lee. Shout out to Kay Nicole. And to all of you other folks that are watching, watching and tuning in on WeAreA1.com, Instagram, Action One Media, hashtag get in the action. All right. Now, a lot of people may be wondering, well, what does traveling with TVMA the T has have to do with Action One Media? It has a lot to do with Action One Media, guys. We keep you abreast of the travel tea. As you just heard, coming live, I told you about the suppliers that are going to be stepping into the show for 2019. We're trying to do something a little bit different for our community so that you are more in tune with what's going on. And we, in the hopes and the whole goal is to engage you in travel. You can meet travel buddies. You can join travel networks and you can just network because that's what it's about. Action One is full of entrepreneurs. We're full of community engagement. And our job is just to be there for you and provide you with the information you need, just keeping you in tune to what's going on. So shout out to Action One Media. And it's no telling where you will see Action One. It's no telling where you will see me at. I'm always somewhere. Thank you for tuning in guys and again shout out to Pamela, shout out to Caesar, shout out to LaTanya, Burnett, shout out to Kay Nicole and everybody else listening in on WeAreA1.com and Instagram and Facebook. Make sure you tag a friend, share this video because it has some great travel tea. Um, one thing I want to say before we do close out the show. Thanksgiving is up on us, and it is time for us to be grateful. Thankful for what we have, cherish our loved ones, family, and friends while we can, because tomorrow is in promise. Life should be lived with no regrets. So to you and yours, from Action One Media and from Traveling with TVMA, the T, happy Thanksgiving. Black Friday is coming up. And this is a great time to lock in spring and summer as well as fall and winter travel deals. Make sure you subscribe to TravelingMadeAffordable.com for all your travel deals. And remember, if you're looking, we're booking. You've been traveling with TVMA the T. Bye.
cooking your celebration. Hi, I'm LaTanya, your Land and Cruise expert. I can plan anything travel for a great price. Ask me about the Caribbean and group trips. Call me to book your next vacation getaway. Remember, if you're looking, we're booking. Cruise Planners, your land and cruise experts. Action One, inspire next. You're tuned in to the all new Action One Network. Turn up your volume. Peace, it's brother Atum Ryan. You tuned in to Action One Network. Join today. Get in the action at weareaone.com.